Well, here we are down in the Brazos River by Ham Creek. Ham Creek is approximately one hour's drive southwest of Fort Worth, or about 15 minutes southwest from Cleburne, Texas. And it is rated as the sixth best overall spot to ski on by Water Ski Magazine. No matter how strong the wind may be blowing, other places down here in the Brazos, as you can see here, by the limestones cliff, the water is protected and you can always find a good, clear, maybe not so clear, but a good, smooth spot to ski on. That's why this has become a very popular place to ski on for skiers in the Fort Worth and Dallas area. Well, we're down here today on the Brazos River, and I have a very good friend of mine, Jeff West. I taught Jeff how to water ski when he was 16 years old. And Jeff really took to the sport, and he became interested in trick skiing. And just last week, Jeff entered the U.S. Open, is that correct, Jeff? National Championship. National Championship. And he took second place, and he won the silver medal in tricks for men in his age group. Jeff, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Well, that's good. I'm glad to have you back here in Texas again. And I thought today you might give our viewers some points on trick skiing. Okay, well... Trick skiing involves using a trick ski, which is typically shorter than your regular water ski, flat on the bottom and has no fin on the bottom so that you can turn it easily on the surface of the water. And um, a tricks is a series of maneuvers that are pre-approved by the American Water Ski Association and involve 90 degree turns, 180 degree turns, 360 degree turns, a revolution and a half, which would be a 540, or two, revolution, two revolutions, which would be a 720 degree turn. And you do these turns either on the surface of the water, over the wake in midair, and, uh, or while you're stepping over the line with one leg, that's called a step over. And then you have toe tricks, where you do the same tricks with holding the rope by your foot. And so the, a typical trick rope would have a harness like this for your foot and you have to have a release person to release the line in case you fall so you don't go to the hospital. And, <laughs> and in competition, uh, each skier the, the, uh, has 20 seconds to perform as many tricks as he can. The more difficult the tricks, the higher the point value. And uh, there you get two 20-second passes. And uh, so the skier with the highest point value uh, wins the competition. Well, that's great. Now, in just a few minutes, we're going to take uh, Jeff out here in the water, and he's going to demonstrate some of these tricks to you. But, Jeff, would you mind telling our listeners here and viewers how you do the basic uh, turnaround on the, on the trick ski, What do you, uh, how your balance is, and what speed do you ski at, and so forth? Well, there's three rules to trick skiing. One, head up. You don't want to look down. They have a saying in trick skiing, look down, fall down. And the other is you want to always keep the handle in close, whether you're holding it with your foot or with your hands, you want to keep it in close to your body. You don't want to get it out here, so your arms need to be bent. And the third is to have a good knee bend, mm -hmm. so your center of gravity stays low mm -hmm. and you can cushion your landings with your knees. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first trick you would typically, typically learn would be a side slide, which is a 90 degree turn, and the ski is at right angle to the boat path. And uh, so you would turn the, the ski 90 degrees. You're still, the upper part of your body is still looking at the boat, but you keep the handle in like this and you don't look down at your ski, but you keep nice knee bend, arm bend, head up, and then turn back to the front. Well, that's great. It's worth, uh, 40 points. 40 points, okay. And how long do you hold the side slide for your 40 points? Yeah, you're supposed to hold it uh, six feet. Six feet, okay. So that would be two about meters. two or three seconds two of meters. meters. I see, okay. Yeah. Well, behind us looks like the water's pretty smooth, so I think it's time now for all of us to get in the boat, and uh, we'll let Jeff perform some of these trick skis, or he won the silver medal in the championship just last week. By the way, trick skiing, contrary to popular belief, trick skiing is not dead, as the wakeboarders would have you think. Well, that's good to know that. Okay, so um, let's all hop in the boat now, and we'll uh, get some good shots of Jeff doing what he did best, trick skiing. This is the program guide for the uh, U.S. Water Ski National Championships this year held uh, in um, August, held August 13th through the 17th in Lago Santa Fe, Texas, which is between Houston and Galveston. And it's the largest three event water ski tournament in the world. Three events are slalom, tricks, and jumping. 
Jeff is a little bit on the modest side, but uh, upon the prompting from us, he decided to display his silver medal that he won at the tournament. And we want to get a good shot of this tournament. Because after all, when you come in second, nationwide is something that you should be very, very proud to wear and display. So we're going to show you now a close-up of the silver medal here in thick water skiing. Is my hair okay? As I said, folks, <laughs> we're showing you the medal, not his hair. But uh, let me get a little closer shot here now of the medal. And then you can see it says National Water Ski Championship. Just very proud, Jeff. Congratulations to you. And I uh, hope that you come in first place next year. Thank you. And now, let's go ski. Okay, Jeff. Oh, good one. My 40s. 